Today I'm going to demonstrate how to program a spare key for this 2012 Toyota Camry. Um, this vehicle has a key already for it. It's a master key. Uh, it's very important to know if you have that or not. You can tell by there's a security light right here. If you put the master key in, security light should go right off. So I put key in ignition. No security light. If it blinks more than once, that's not the master key. Um, you'll definitely need that to add in any spares without doing an immobilizer reset. Uh, what we're going to do from here, <clears throat> go into a immobilizer menu, go over to Toyota. Going to select manual selection. Go to United States, that's where we're at, not where the vehicle was made. Camry. This is a 2012. It's a blade key. Confirm, yep, that's the vehicle. <clears throat> Go to control unit. Using an X Horse remote, I made this myself. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the remote will program. Ignition on, open driver door. Okay. okay. Lock and unlock at the same time, then press lock again. We're going to do OK so it starts the countdown. Heard the lock beeps, so the remote has been programmed. Now, a good tip is that <clears throat> I don't recommend cutting your key until you make sure it actually programmed in. Uh, the learning procedure for immobilizers, you don't have to have the ignition on, so it's good not to waste the key. I say that because a lot of these Camrys have different chip types. It's hard to see on there, but this is a G. It's got the G in their corner. Could be the H chip, they got the D chip as well, so just make sure you're using the right key. Now that the remote's programmed, check the functionality of it. Go to Immobilizer, Key Learning. Switch the ignition on. Now right there, it's telling you, you must have a master key to be able to add other keys. It tells you the difference there. It's the walkthrough I went through with the security light. Make sure that's not blinking. If it lights up even more than a second, it's not the master key. Insert learn master key, switch ignition on, press OK. Remove key, insert key to be learned. Keep ignition off. <clears throat> Now it's saying to wait for the theft light to turn off. That can take up to a minute or two.
All right, the theft light has gone away. So we're gonna hit okay. Wait till the lamp that goes out. Learning succeeded, the lamp is out. Now that should be it. So we'll check that the key starts the vehicle once it's cut and I will cut that video in there. So again, do it without cutting the key. It'll save you the time. Make sure you're using the right key and then I'll show you it working once we're done cutting it. All right, so we did get our key cut here. I'm gonna go ahead and just check the doors real quick, make sure it works. All right, the door works good. We'll just verify the ignition also turns smoothly and that the car starts. We'll check both ends, both turn real smooth. We'll make sure that that theft light goes away. Car starts up, no theft light, we're good to go.